Civil War comic book and Captain America Civil War the movie they are similar in some ways but yet again there are more differences than there are with similarities but here in this video I'm going to examine uh, the similarities and differences in both the Civil War movie and Civil War comic book. in the Civil War comic book was started by the New Warriors who a group of young teenagers who were trying to film for their reality TV show so they found a bunch of villains who are living in this house they started a fight with them and then the fight resulted in an explosion that killed even children so that was the cause of that that was the tip of the iceberg for the Civil War comic book for the Civil War movie, Captain America Civil War, the tip of the iceberg was Nigeria mission uh, where Scarlet Witch, the Avengers, Captain America, where they went on this mission to stop Crossbones. Uh, when Crossbones was about to blow up himself and Captain America, uh, Scarlet Witch, she saved Captain America, but she tried to contain the explosion where, where there was a bomb wrapped around Crossbones or something like that, and then it ended up exploding in midair and the people got caught in the crossfire so in a way that is it's kind of similar because it's two explosions but the scenario is kind of different at the same time so the second one tony talks to miriam sharp or sharpe however you pronounce it in both the comic books and the movie but the only difference is that the setting is different when he when he talks to Miriam Sharp, Sharpe, or Sharp, let's just say Sharp, or Sharpe, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, when he talks to, um, in the comic books, it was at it was at a funeral, at her son's funeral, or at the or it was it a funeral or a memorial, whichever one I can't really remember, funeral or memorial, and in the in the movie she he was talking to Miriam Sharpe or Sharp at this event that he was doing fundraising event or something like that I don't even know what exactly where exactly what it was some event that he was announcing but if you've seen the movie you obviously know what I'm talking about and in a way it's kind of similar but at the same time it's kind of different because like I said in my pre in the previous category it's a, it's a different scenario it's a different uh, setting but it's kind of similar as well so the third category is the argument. In the Civil War comic book, the argument or the conflicting sides, each side must choose to whether they want to reveal their secret identity or not reveal their secret identity. The ones who do reveal their secret identity are assigned to the superhero registration. Line. That's the argument for the Civil War comic book. The argument for Captain America's Civil War is whether the Avengers should be held accountable for their actions or not whether the government should control the Avengers activities. So that's the conflicting arguments for Captain America Civil War. So you can see that there's clearly a big difference in the arguments here. The only difference, the only similarities you see in this category is that they both have to choose sides, they both have to sign something and if they don't sign then they're against the government, they're against the law. That's the only similarities that you can see in that category. The fourth category is the battle, and or battle that you say. In the Civil War comic book, there is multiple battles. I can't remember how many battles. There's like two, three, or four. I, I, I can't remember even because then you have to count in the spin-off titles as well. I didn't really read all the spin-off titles, but I read some, but not all of them. So I'm not really sure what happened in every other spin-off title. But yeah, in the main Civil War storyline, there were a few battles, but in the Captain America Civil War movie there was only one team battle and that was the airport battle so that is the difference there and this you can see the similarities that they obviously they they both go into battle so that's similar but the difference is that Civil War comic book has more battles than the Civil War movie um, and the, obviously the climax is in Captain America Civil War it's Captain America versus Iron Man that was the and Bucky Captain America and Bucky versus Iron Man but would that does that count? Yeah, I guess it can count. But at the end of the day, Civil War comic still has more battles than Captain America Civil War movie. Yeah. 
This is not even a debate. Whoever's read Civil War comic book would know that Civil War comic book felt more like a civil war because there were more characters, there were more heroes going against each other. Whereas in Captain America Civil War, it was just Avengers versus the Avengers. It was just literally, there was literally 12 people in that epic battle, six versus six. So that does not feel like a civil war when you compare it to the Civil War comic book. There's more characters involved. So. For me, I would have liked if some of the Netflix people or Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. were involved in the Civil War in some way or form. Maybe they may not have to have a participated in the actual fight, but at least have a presence in that film to feel, make it feel more like a Civil War. Because it just feels like an Avengers conflict, an uh, Avengers disagreement. That's the way I see it. So, But I can't blame them because to handle those many characters as they had in the Civil War conflict, that's nearly impossible to us. And they did a good job in the way that they did it, the way they, in Captain America Civil War, they did a good job to make every character feel relevant. So I think that's that's an advantage in that regard. But I, I would have still liked to see a few more characters. The last category is the winner of the war. In the Civil War comic book, Captain America was moments away from giving Iron Man the killing blow. And it is the exact same thing for the Captain America Civil War. Captain America was moments away from killing Iron Man when he was about to put the shield through his face. But he stopped at the last minute when Tony Stark covered his face. So then he just dashed it in the shark reactor instead. But in Civil War comic book, Captain America was, I think he was gonna ki uh, give I am the killing blow, but if it wasn't for the public who held him back and made him realize that what he was doing, he was just he wasn't fighting for freedom anymore. He was just fighting. That is the difference between this movie and the this comic and the movie. That Team Iron Man won the war basically in the comic book. But the way the way I see it, this is just my personal opinion. I personally think that. Although Team Iron Man won the battle, the airport battle, Team Cat won the war. That's the way I see it in Captain America Civil War. So the way I see it, I think the winner of the war is different on both sides, on both the comic book and the movie. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. That's the similarities and differences in Captain America Civil War. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me or do you disagree? Share your thoughts down below in the comments. Um, which which one did you like better? Did you like the Civil War comic book better or the Civil War movie? I want to know your opinions. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys later for more videos.